what's up programmers welcome back so today we'll be looking at a program to find the prime factors of a given number so say suppose we are given 24 and we have to express it in terms of the prime numbers so we'll express it as, as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 that is 8 into 3 that's 24 right so this is what we'll be doing in this program now let's jump to the algorithm now the algorithm that we'll be using you must have studied it in in your lower classes or in your basic math the algorithm is very simple first you take a number say for example 420 now you try to divide this by 2 okay so 420 is divisible by 2 so we divide it by 2 and we get the answer as 210 okay next we again try to divide this by 2 okay so it is still divisible by 2 so we'll go and further divide it by 2 and we'll get the answer as 105 now in this case it is not divisible by 2 so we'll move on to the next number that is 3 okay so uh, 3 can divide this so we'll divide it by 3 and it will return you 35 okay now 35 cannot be divided by 3 so we'll move on to the next number that is 4 F even 4 can't divide it so we'll move on to the next number that is 5 now 5 can divide 35 and we'll get 7 and then uh, 7 cannot be divided by 6 and it will be only divisible by 7 so we get this now the stopping condition of this algorithm is that when we reach 1 that is when the number that we originally started out which was 420 which it got converted to 1 that is the stopping condition so this is the algorithm that we'll be using in the code let's get started okay so i just created a c file and i just uh, included our stdio for input output and wrote main first thing that we need to do we need to take input from the user that is a number for which the prime factors we have to find so i'll just write down i'll just take the input from the user now so i just declared a variable n which will store the number that the user inputs and i've just written a message and taken the input from the user now in this case for prime factors we'll write a function which will uh, print all the prime factors on the screen okay so this function i'll just have it written void because we are printing all the numbers on the screen i'll name it as find prime factors now this function needs to take a parameter that is for which number we need to find so we'll just pass in the number so the algorithm that we'll be using is the same as which i showed you in the ppt now the first thing that we did is we got a number we started dividing it from 2 so let's say suppose I have a uh, integer i which will uh, tell me f uh, which number I'm currently trying to divide it by so uh, it starts from 2 so I initialize it to 2 now the next thing is that we need to continuously divide this number till we reach a stopping condition now in this case the stopping condition was when we reached 1 okay so the, when we reach 1 we'll stop our algorithm so I want to continue this loop till my n is not equal to 1 right eventually it will become 1 and then uh, we'll break out of this loop so if you look at this algorithm closely first thing that we tried is we tried to divide it by some counter which was initialized to 2 and if it was divisible then we divided it by 2 right so this 2 could divide 420 so we divided 420 by 2 and we got 210 so we'll be applying the same in our code so first thing we'll check is that whether the uh, number is divisible by our current counter if it is divisible then we'll print the number and divide our number by the counter now there is one more case that we need to handle say suppose we are given a number which has the prime number occurring multiple times say suppose 4 okay so 4 has 2 appearing 2 times right it is 2 into 2 so now in this case we need to print this multiple times right so what we'll do we'll write a while loop so we have written a while loop to catch the uh, prime numbers occurring multiple times so we need to also print them multiple of times right so I'll just put a print statement and we'll divide this number by our current counter okay so now 
we have even handled the case where we have multiple times the same number occurring inside a prime number now after we have done with this process we need to go to the next number right so uh, if you remember so if you remember uh, once we are done with uh, 2 over here we need to shift to the next number that is 3 okay once we are done with 3 we need to go to 4 but 4 cannot divide it so we'll go still further and look for 5 then 6 and then 7 we continue this process till we have 1 so we'll increment our counter so our I'll increment the counter that is I'll increment it by 1 okay so that's it okay so this completes the program now the last step is only left that is to call the function so I'll call it so we have called the function and passed the input to the uh, as a parameter now let's execute and see if the program runs properly so it's asking us for a number so we enter 420 and we get its factor right so this is it okay so this completes this video tutorial please do subscribe to our channel like our videos and go through our blogs where you can find different programs and various patterns which can improve your programming skills thank you